Mr. Issa has extensive experience in managing industrial manufacturing businesses and has a special interest in the manufacture and trading of foods and food grains in international markets. So he has a great wealth of experience to share with us. We're very grateful. Thank you, Mr. Issa. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it gets me a great pleasure to be with you here today to discuss about the other side of the coin, which is, you know, food security from a receiver side. What we heard earlier is from a supplier side. Now it is the receiver side, which is uh, an important part of this part of the world to sustain uh, the sustain the uh, uh, livelihood of the people who are living in this part of the world is that how food is secured in this part of the world. I'd like to take you in defining food security by the FAO. They say that it's existing when all people uh, at all time have physical and economical access to sufficient, safe, nutritious food to meet their dietary need and food preference for an active and healthy life. So this is what the uh, definition of the food security by the FAO. What does it consist? It's an fourth uh, aspect of the whole thing. One is availability, access, stability, and utilization. All these are important factors into making the choose, choice of any, uh, uh, any, any food that we would like to, in this part of the world, to be, is, uh, to be uh, uh, for the security, it has to have this, uh, uh, this uh, concept in, into the. Trying to go deeper into this, explaining these pil pillars, the food, av food availability, sufficient quantities of food available on consistent basis. That means food should be available to everybody, and ev not only one or another, for or, or everyone who is living on this part of the world. And also uh, have sufficient resources to obtain appropriate food for nutritional diet. I would not you know, bring something that it is not healthy when I am unnecessary. I always say like, you know, food security, it is like when you need, God forbid something happened when you have an accident, you need that millisecond for your airbags to open up to protect you. You don't need at that time, you know, you, are not, you will be with a little bit some scratches, hopefully not, but at least not ma major damage. With food security, that is the concept is that you will have maybe less quantity, not abundant quantity, but at least you will nourish the, the people who are living in that part of the world for some time to you be able to recover it. And also the appropriate use of based on knowledge, basis of nutrition and care, as well as adequate water and uh, sanitation. Food has to be safe, not, not only when you, when you, when you uh, food any food security item that you have, it has to be also, is, uh, uh, sanitation should be there. And also stability. It should be able to store it for a longer time. But it's always a debate. Shall we have or not have? So the food, and, uh, is it enough food in the world to feed everybody adequately? The problem is distribution. As the minister was saying, is that maybe how to reach the product into the end user uh, is very important. Future foods needs can or cannot be met by current level of production. I think we do, but it is sometimes, as one of the speakers mentioned also, I think I'm running out of time, but I will just, uh, these are the references that it is there, 
and I thank you very much for your, for your uh, listening to me. And I would, as I said earlier, that please be, be uh, on, on your food uh, at home or on your plate. Don't waste as much food because you will create a, a lunch for somebody else. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.